Okay, Glitch Reaper here, back for another mob battle. I, I, I was trying some experiments over there, and they didn't turn out as I was hoping for. Oh well, I, 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 I tried something to spice a few things up, and it didn't quite turn out good enough. So maybe another time I'll figure out a dynamic that'll work for that one, but uh, we'll see. It, it has something to do with the one that I'm already doing today, actually, because I was going to do, and it, it, it I, I kind of decided to celebrate a few things, and it, part of that's just kind of apparent to October, because this is kind of uh, a, a time for horror movies and things like that. So I'm going to be uh, doing a, 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 a nice, more monster-themed uh, mob battle. And I, I thought that Between Lands seemed really appropriate, and since it's both in 1.12.2 along with Sonic Potatoes 2, I thought, well, why not also throw in a, 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 a... Well, let's just face it, a lot of people are creeped out by clowns. I'm not as much, but at the same time, it's just something I know that's going to pop up on Halloween, so, you know. <laughs> so, Creepy Clown uh, versus various classical monsters as well as some uh, newer ones. So, well, let's, let's kind of put things in between land style. Of course we have Frycook. I mean, it's Frycook. He's the crazy uh, clown chef that wants to annihilate a lot of things. He might as well be Pennywise, but not exactly. <laughs> Now I have several things for him to fight, including some things that's kind of higher up on the list than you'd think. Uh, the Tar Beast is kind of an elite. But let's start off with the Barishi, actually. And let me see if I can keep reminding it to attack him this time. Okay, Barishi. You evil transformer, you. Hey, you. Now, to be fair, the bear she will probably wind up distracted by those more than once. I mean, minions is part of right thing. Okay, that was a cool attack, though. March toward them. Keep, keep going. I know you got a lot of attack power. Yeah, but now you're being counterattacked by minions again. It whiffed with that Sonic War. That is a cool attack, though. The Sonic Blast. Also has a big... Big, like, area attack roar. And a kind of additional, uh, additional shockwave, similar to the shockwave sword. Which reminds me, I will not be having him fight the Primordial Malevolence, because it can literally only be fought with the shockwave sword. Or, is it that any sword will work? But either way, it has to be done by the player. So, it's an action that this thing can't replicate, and it can't bounce projectiles back at it. So, it can't take down the prim Primordial uh, Primordial against the shield. Okay, again, cool move. I haven't seen it actually hit anything yet, but it looks awesome. Now, whenever you take him down a wall of minions, I can... Or got close enough. Oh! Got him with the shockwave, actually. But even then, the minions just totally trashed it. I mean, that... that, that... Frycook barely took any damage. He just got walled off by minions. So, sorry, Barashi, against this guy, you're just not gonna work out. However, there's something that is oddly higher up on the list than you'd think. I, I, I should put it somewhere else, but, uh... Yeah, also celebrating the fact that the Warden will be coming out of the ground uh, soon to a Minecraft near you. Uh, we have Tar Beast! It's not the only thing that pops out of the ground here in, uh... Uh... In Between Lands? Wait, did, did I hit you? I think I did. Uh, this thing will get there probably on its own, but j j just in case, I, I do have the Mob and Rager. Hey, this thing is golem-like in its ability to do stuff. To be fair, that actually... 
smooth face at Frykook has range. Uh, he's doing that crazy thing. Uh, I, it's hard to get out of that, and even in creative, it pulls you in. It, I mean, there's not many things that do that in the history of Minecraft, but the ones that do, it's like an awesome attack that's just crazy. I think this guy, I may have to do a round two just to show just how strong this thing really is against Frycook. I think Frycook started a little too far away from him to really get going. He's doing that black hole thing again. Okay, that one wasn't as good of a show as the one that I had previously against him. So I'll let him regenerate for a few moments and then unleash another Tar Beast. Although, to be perfectly fair, the Dark Druid is a, it's mainly just here for show, but I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> because it's kind of uh, fun to watch him get lifted up in the air by the Dark Druid. He's like, yep, yep, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lift at you. Nope, 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 I'm gone. Ah. It's like, it, it, if, if you don't like the Dark Druid starting you up on, uh, uh, on Between Lands, just, just think of that as a bit of cathartic release, of just watching it just get trounced by this guy. <laughs> okay, now let's get an actual round in here with the, uh, the Tar Beast. See, uh, it, it being a little closer kinda helps out. Even then, it does take care of the minions fairly well, especially when it does have an area attack. Or actually it has two of them. One which is like, uh, a Tar Burst. And then it has, like, its black hole attack that just sucks everything in from a distance and, and damages it. Uh, case in point, and it's hard to run out of, even in creative. I think I'm going towards, like, I think I'm going towards, uh, Fry Cook, but I'm not sure. It's hard to see whenever that happens. It's like, no. That's just cold, and then stuff happens. Uh, can't get out of the tar beast again. Wow, that is very disorientating. I'm a little faster on my reminders here, in terms of, hey, you should be attacking that. I know there's other ways to do that, but... Uh, can I fly away? This is a kind of a quick setup for various reasons. And now he's uh, once he gets really up close, he can deal a lot of damage to him quickly. The minions are here. He's like, no. <laughs> Be perfectly fair, the flying French fries don't have much health. Oh, he's he was doing it while he was dying. Oh my gosh. Was, that was awesome. Now he he dealt them like uh, more than 100 points of damage overall, but remember, Fry Cook regenerates, so there's that. Now this is just making things a little faster there. Yeah, Fry Cook regenerates, so just just remember he regenerates over time, so technically he was dealing them more damage than that. It's just that he healed a lot of it off. And we also have the Cheer Maw Matriarch. Uh, this thing's a, a bit... Uh, well, it, it's a flyer. We'll put it that way. It's also kind of that uh, creature that you uh, fight to get one of its uh, one of its kind as your own. After a while, you may not have quite the stats of the matriarch, though. Oh, it caught him! It grabbed him! It grabbed him! It's just raining spikes, and none of them hit him. Now, uh, it does have to take care of some minions for a while. Fry Cook's like, hey, get, uh, uh, get her up there, get her up there. Uh, it's like, uh, 
It's like, whenever I take care of these, I'll... It's like, yeah, just raining spikes. Now, those things can kind of stun. So there are minutes more than just damage. But, this thing is just getting swarmed. I'm gonna try to, again, remind it to attack him. Uh, well, I'll remind her to attack him whenever it, it, it can get free of minions for a moment. It, it can take him out. She, I mean, she can. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. She can totally take them out. But right now, it's... Oh, I, I, I just gotta watch when those things just go downward. Oh, oh, she, she dropped. She dropped. And then she grabbed one. She totally grabbed one. Now, can you remember to attack him while they're holding one? I don't know if she'll drop to attack something else. Okay. She, oh, she got him again. She got him again. Good catch. Good catch. She got a grip. Oh, and he took a... He took a big damage in that zone. It's raining spikes. But she's also, also getting overwhelmed with minions again. The french fries are winning. Oh, Is there... I mean... Is there another mob... Uh, mod with... Uh, fast food themed enemies? Cause I, I'm just wondering for possible themed mob battle in the future. Uh, because, I mean, here we have Frycook, and he's, he's totally a fast food friendly boss, but do we have some others that could work? Oh, she is a terrible shot. <laughs> she really is a terrible shot. I mean, all those shots, and totally whipped all of them. <laughs> I mean, seriously, she is a terrible shot. <laughs> Especially for anything right below her. Like, if you get right below her whenever she's doing that spin, she is not gonna hit you. I think he despawned. I needed a roof. Either way, I know that you probably would've won against her, but I'd kind of like to give her a bit of recovery. A new fry cook. And at least this time, I'd like to uh, get me in there. At least for a little while. Okay, good recatch. She deals some damage, but not really enough to really keep up with him. And I'm trying to keep him... You know, I could do a quick, like, meme tag thing to keep him spun in. That was probably cool. But at the same time, I just keep him in range. Probably won't last that long. She doesn't despawn as easily. I think she's got despawn resistance or just doesn't despawn. This one, not so much. She'll drop down eventually. She doesn't see anything. Yeah, because she changes her, her flight whenever she doesn't see anything for a while. Finally hit him a couple times in a row, actually. And then grab him. Nice combo. Wrench. Still in decent damage to him over time, he just keeps regenerating. And the minions are just overcrowding her. Yeah, you just gotta love it when she makes it rain spikes. Oh, she's, she's lower now. Got out of the mean uh, rip there. Or rather, the reverse. She let one go. 
Just don't think she does her spike move whenever she's actually holding it on. Okay, they're, they're really overcrowding her now. We still have another good fight to go with Frycook. I know at least something that uh, that will be able to uh, overwhelm him, or at least maybe. You can, in fact, spam reminders with this thing. I need to remember to use Team Dynamics more. But at the same time, Frycook does make quite a team. <laughs> Just all those spawns in. Okay. Uh, she, she's being overcrowded up there. She's trying to drop back down. Frycook hasn't despawned, but where did he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. Ah, forgot about that attack. Did I did I get blinded by that or not? Not entirely sure if it hit me. I think it did. Even at point blank range. <laughs> like seriously, see how that that whip with all that went through her whole set of spins, and even when going right over them, totally whipped. Chermal Mat Matriarch, you really are a terrible shot. Those ones that you got in before must have just been luck. Because you are not good with that move. <laughs> Especially against small to medium targets. Rykook and, and his minions are just too strong for her. Now she can pick them off. But whenever they pop back. She just gets overwhelmed again. She's almost down. Still carrying one of the french fries. She's pretty heavy on that uh, grabbing trick. Her snatch attack is pretty nasty. But she's also about to be nailed by him. Pretty sure the finishing blow is going to come up pretty soon. Yeah, she, she, she's down for the count now. Rykook is still triumphant there, but there's something left. It also likes to come out from the uh, bottom of the wound. Let's see, dreadful people. And this thing also has minions. Empty range attack. Okay, it's getting close to the end. Holding on one? Guess it was. But it's gone now. Now, the minions are keep go uh, are, will keep going after him, actually. So, its minions are very determined. Of course, they are undead, so... Hey, 
quick reminder. This guy's your target. There you go. That was the wrong move. Now you get a turbo lick. Uh, yeah. It, it, it's pulling a Pokemon Ghost type move and lifting a the fighting, I'm not sure. We have a long time. Now who's getting overcrowded, Fryco? Now, I'm also saying the uh, Sludge Minister doesn't uh, work out with them as well. You can't just target it correctly for some reason. So they can't really fight each other the same way. I've tried using Botania too, but it's just not working. Now this guy, now this guy and his minions, however, they they keep up with it. It really, it really sounds to me more like the dreadful peep mummy is looking at him. So, again, he. See now you're on the street, dreadful peep mummy. And with that, the danger of, uh, of Pennywise the Fry Cook is now gone. Uh, now the dreadful peep mummy, it, it really, it really stayed going there. It, where did the actual dreadful one go? Oh, it's using one of its other attacks to, to sweep out the minions. It, yeah, it's like, I'm just sweeping out you french fries here. I, it, it's using, like, sludge mortars. Oh, got bonked by the sludge mortar. Bouncy attacks. This is also why I usually don't declare it over until all the, all the minions of one side have been defeated. Uh, the Dreadful Peep Mommy won? It, it, it... I mean, overall, down to halfway, but the uh, ma but the dreadful peep mummy doesn't regenerate either. So, uh, yeah, I can certainly say Frycook has a lot of advantages, but the dreadful peep mummy just had better attacks <laughs> to take him down. It's like, yeah, uh, no, I I got you. Literally, I I've grabbed you, and I'm just gonna repeatedly attack you. Plus, it does have some ranged moves and more. So, yeah, when fighting this thing, you might be having some technical difficulties. I am wondering... Where do I get the fancy armor from anywhere near this thing? Because it would be interesting to... I, I, I'm gonna have to look into that at some point. But anyhow. Uh, turns out our winner is F... as uh... Ah, uh, lips. Is actually the Dreadful Peep Mummy. So, thanks for watching. I'll be back at some point. So, hope to hear from you all later. Bye for now, everybody. And remember, there will be more mob battles.